Hi, I'm John. This is my show, An American Scheme, where I am proving that Diana Ross is Michael Jackson's actual mother. So, I've had some uh, more cards come in. It's one of these things where I was like, I'll get a card here, or I'll get a card there. So, I really won't want to make a video about it. And then I ordered uh, this, it's almost the complete set uh, from the history tour, I guess when, so, and so that's the thing is you could, you can't get these uh, cards in America. They weren't for sale. And, and I guess the only place of where you could get them from when they were for sale was at the actual concerts, right? So I don't think there's, it's not like there's a million of them. I, I would highly doubt that there would be a million of these cards printed. I would think it's probably much more around, probably like, 50,000 kind of thing. They probably printed 50,000. And if they sold them, then they'd get a reprint or something like that. But it's probably something like that. It's not crazy amount and stuff, right? So the set I got, the other thing is when you get these cards, uh, these cards and stuff, like I said, uh, the sets, the, the history tour set, that's over uh, in France and uh, Spain and stuff, I guess, whatever it is, the country, the, there are countries over there. Because the, the cards come in French and Spanish. They'll have writing on the bottom on some of them and stuff, but they're not in and some. Well, some of them are in English and stuff, but they're they're actually like in French and Spanish. That's the way the cards. So the sets were over there. They come from over there and stuff, right? So all the when you're buying this stuff, you can't really ever find them in America. The history tour set, you can't find that card set in America. That's one of these things. So just by me getting it and bringing it over to America, like increases the value because now you don't have to deal with like the dealing from international shipping and then the shipping costs and stuff like that so it's one of these things about this set it's a good set so i've been wanting it but it was like then but you deal with sketchy sellers they're not the same as like these quality like sports car dealers when you deal with people in america they're much more professional they have a they they know what they're doing there's like you know they know what they're doing they're selling the cars and stuff they're better and stuff when you deal with the people from uh, the European countries and stuff like that, they're not the same. They don't package the st same and stuff. They don't send this stuff. Like I got a card right now. The person put a tracking number on it, but hasn't sent the card for two weeks. It's been, I haven't seen anything. So I don't know what's going on with it. So it's one of those things I'm kind of waiting with this. So there's like, there was another card I'm waiting for, but it's like, <laughs> I think I said, you can't deal with all this stupid bullshit. So I don't even like really like dealing with this stuff very much. There's just very certain, uh, certain things that I want if I can get a really good deal on. So like, I'm gonna show you the set. See, it takes a long time just to even do that. Also, the other thing is like, I don't know if I can make videos anymore. It's like, I, I pulled this up to make this one video and stuff, but it's like, man, really my time is like, it's it's just hard for me to find 30 minutes to pull up and make a video. Because once I put it on the camera, <coughs> you know I am, I start talking for 30 minutes, right? So it's just really hard for me to do that now. I don't have the time I, to find that extra 30 minutes and stuff. So. I'll keep trying stuff here and there and stuff. I'll try to get back into it. I, I don't know. I don't know if I can make videos and stuff. But I wanted to get this one out real quick and stuff, right, too. And I'll show you a couple other cards I had picked up some deals on. So this is like, uh, this would be like a vending machine. If you look for Michael Jackson uh, vending machine cards, what you can find is on these older vending machines, you can find like that sparkly prism style of colors and stuff so they're stickers so they're not like thick cards and stuff but and then so see how it's centered though like how he's positioned on the card he's got good centering and uh the back yeah it's just blank so it's in pretty condition i got a i know i got a really good deal on it because some people that are asking for sale prices they want like some people want 500 300 i've seen high prices on this card because it's a rare card from the 80s from the a vending machine for michael jackson so <laughs> i picked that one up I'm sure it was under 20 bucks. And then so like people in the sports card world, so this is like a kind of thing where you don't understand. It's like I said, the, the people over in the European, they don't always understand about like grading cards, like that a card's graded, the you know, and cards graded and stuff. So this is like what you get with your cards and then you grade it and it makes it much more valuable. And so that one right there though, that Michael Jackson, they have auctions. They have buy it now stuff and then they have auctions. And so Michael Jackson's card market is not really like in demand and stuff. That's why I've been able to been picking up this stuff at good deals because I've been learning what is the good stuff and what are the prices and stuff. So then, then the other thing is like when you get a card in a slab, that's called a slab. It's graded by PSA. That's the big brand. So that card started on this. It was an auction starting at, at uh, $10. And uh, it's a PSA 7, which like a lot of people, when they think about modern cards, they want everything in PSA 10s and shit, right? 
So you think a seven might be a lower number. When you look at the card though, it's like freaking perfect. The centering is perfect, the corners are sharp. I mean, it's like, why is this a seven? Why is this not a nine? It's just like, some of the stuff I don't understand, cause unless there's some big scratch on it, but I think I looked over it till it looks good and stuff, right? But anyways, there's still, there's not a lot of those cards graded. A lot of these cards of Michael Jackson, that market is just like in its infancy. This is like what I was trying to show the sports card people. Not really many of them picked up on it. One of them is flipping Steve guy that's smart. And so that's kind of why I'm making stuff like this too for him, showing him some of the stuff that to give him some advice and stuff. And so, but he knows most of this stuff anyways. But anyways, so this card was at auction at 10 bucks, you know? So it's like, well, shoot, a card slabbed up in a PSA slab already at a PSA 7. And, and I think it said it's the highest. The pop count was really lower. This is the highest pop, you know, none higher. So this is like the highest, it's not the most desirable card, but any card in a, in a PSA slab of Michael Jackson that looks sharp and stuff, if the Michael Jackson start market <clears throat> starts to increase, all those cards can be desirable, especially because <clears throat> there's not a lot of them out there and shit, right? So uh, this one was auctioning, starting at 10 bucks, and so I hit it at 10 bucks. I think I went back right and I tried to put another bit in just to try and get it. For under 20, <clears throat> just in case somebody tried to snipe it from me, but nobody else put another bid, so I got it for the 10 bucks, you know. So, got the card that Michael Jackson card slabbed up to PSA 7 for 10 bucks. I mean, you know, that's like you gotta pay shipping, but that's like extra five bucks at the most, you know. So, so it's like for 15 bucks, got that card in a slab, that was a good deal. So, Sorry, I just tried to drink of water. So yeah, I got that Michael Jackson card. Got picked that one up because it's like, like I'm saying, fifteen bucks for that? Are you kidding me? Fifteen bucks? Come on, that's such a good deal. And then in the sports card, this is the main person I I buy. Is this is a uh, Nick Chubb? He's a running back for the Cleveland Browns, and so. It's people don't like to invest in running backs uh, in sports cards because. Uh, they get hurt all the time, and they do. It's it's, it's scary when you got money invested in a running back, because I have, and so his uh, this is this card. See the color around it that's on the right there that shines on the edge and stuff. This one's a, it's a bronze. See bronze. So the bronze is like a brown, which matches like the brown because they do all the color matching. This is I'm talking. This is like what I'm talking to, like the Michael Jackson people that don't understand about cards and stuff, right? And so I'm gonna show you too. Is like this is like a chrome card. Because I'm going to show you here in the Michael Jackson cards in here. They have these cards, but these are like foil. They're like foils, white sparker foils. They're not, <coughs> they're not uh, chrome cards. Like these are the ones that are the really expensive cards. They're the better quality. These refract. And then we'll see how it refracts the colors. They call that refractors. And then they, they put a color bordering on, this, on the side. And then that'll tell you the, uh, ver the print run of like how much cards were printed of it and stuff. Usually, you know. So... You got to figure out all that stuff. It's tricky. That's how, but that's how that card. And so this one is a nine, is a PSA nine. So I picked this up. This was like forty bucks. I just, I, I wanted a copy of this. I wanted a ten, but it's one of those things they don't come up all the time. And then when they do, they're a little more expensive. I just wanted a copy for my personal collection. So I picked that one up for you know forty bucks. So I grabbed one of those. Okay, so now this is the set. I've been uh, eyeballing the set, and I bought some cards. I have a few loose cards, and then. There's a couple other sets out there, but one is like almost complete. But when I got this one, it's like, shoot, I think I got all the good cards that were in the other one. <clears throat> but the other one comes with another set too, but it's not complete because I want it. I want also, I want the complete set because there's this one awesome Michael Jackson thriller card where he's got like the Michael Jackson where he's got the eyes changing into the thriller eyes. And so there's one of those that's the sparkly and I didn't get it in this one. That was the one I was really disappointed at first, but then as I looked through it over and stuff, this set more, because <clears throat> I didn't know everything that was in it, <clears throat> and I didn't know what I was gonna get in this set, but as I kept looking over, I was happy with what I got and stuff in this set, so I was really happy. So yeah, it comes in this book, like I said, they sold it at the concerts, so it comes in this folder with the sheets, everything's in the sheets and stuff like this, so it's protected. This is a thick plastic here. It's not, it's a thicker plastic, so, that's one good thing you can probably count on it is that it gets shipped to you. But the other thing is, like I said, these people are the European people, and they're not really card people. Now, the thing is protected itself, so the cards are somewhat protected, <clears throat> but you can't really know exactly what you're going to get. The people don't take all the pictures because it's a big set of cards. 
<clears throat> so they usually don't photograph everything, so you don't know exactly like what condition they are. And that's the other thing is when the people took the cards in and out, they're not people that were card people that were trained to know how to take care of the cards. So a lot of these cards have corner damage and stuff. So and then <clears throat> then you get the printing damage where the cards are off centered. They're not centered perfectly and stuff, right? But you got the other thing of what you got to deal with and stuff, right? So then so they got this thing in here, which is like okay, this is like what it is. I don't, but this to me, I don't like when card companies do this either when they card cut cards up into two pieces or whatever I don't like when they do stuff like that either and stuff so okay so it's got that thing okay so then in here <clears throat> now it's like the cool thing about this the other thing is this is the history concert okay so one of the things that in like the Michael Jackson stuff is like this is Panini made this set, and Panini also made a set of cards of tw in 2011 of Michael Jackson, but those were after he died, and it has a total different feel to me after he died, that set of cards, it doesn't have the same feel, but this cards, this is what you want, if you want a good set of a total thing of Michael Jackson's, like, his uh, volume of work up until this time, this set, set of cards has it, and these cards are legit because it's the history, then... The history has, it's Michael Jackson's history and stuff. And so, and it has like the, the CDs, it has some of the older songs and stuff. And so, anyways, the history though, since it's history, you can have an older picture from like Billie Jean and stuff, right? But even though this is like in 96, the history uh, tour and stuff, even though these are in 96, you can have a card that was like earlier from the 80s. But to me, it still holds up as a real card. So that's why I really like this set of cards and stuff, right? So... But then, so what is the, these cards are, they're cool cards as they are, but this one right here was one I, I really wanted, this card from the childhood. That's like a picture that Michael had drawn and uh, Palmy had wrote that uh, is uh, lyrics from the song Childhood, I believe. Yeah, that one, I really wanted that card as, as far as just one of the regular cards. But what I want to show you is these sparkly cards. These, and so what it has is all the albums. All the albums has a sparkly card, okay? So like off the off the wall, and then I think it's got the whole set in here of the albums. So it's got, the, and it's got one. There's another one here with the with the socks where he's on his toes and stuff that lights up that I didn't know was in here. Well, so I was really happy about that. So these sparkly ones, so these are the cards that are valuable. These are cards that are like for as far as collector. And so I really wanted this Thriller one too. There's the Thriller white sparkle. There we go. I really, that was one I wanted, like, if that one wasn't there, I would have been really sad, because I, I, I didn't, the picture wasn't there, I didn't know I was going to get, then there was like another one like this, I didn't know that this one was in here, but there's like another one, okay, but these, so like, that white, look how awesome that Thriller White Sparkle is though. That thing is so freaking awesome, right? So, when I got this, I only knew that there was four of the sparkly cards in here. I didn't know how many were in here and stuff, right? I, I, so, like I said, it was kind of a gamble. But I got it, like, half price compared to what I can get a set for. I got this set for, like, half price. So, I wanted to get this to see what it was. Plus, I wanted, and then I scored on the sparklies. There's a lot of the sparkly cards in here, too, that are good. Right? So, the bad looks awesome. So this is what I was showing you too, like, see how it's got that color? This was like, this is like what they call a foil. It's like a foil card. It, it's a, the, the cover is like foil. The other card I showed you that was the refractor. That's a, that's the more modern, the chrome refractors. Those are the more modern, the expensive ones and shit. The more modern. So here's the dangerous. See, I already had a dangerous. I've shown this to you before, but this isn't. So I know I've got another one of those. So I got the dangerous one. There's the history. And then, this one I want to show you too, it's like, see, like, like this picture here, okay, see, it's got, like, that card, about the same, but see, like, see how it's got this picture with these dying cards and stuff? That's not special, okay? This one card right here, that one card, with a very similar picture, right? But see how it's got the sparkly stuff on it? That's way more valuable. That one card. That's like when you're collecting cards, those are the cards. It's like I didn't even know these cards were in here. That's what I'm saying. I, I they got the set. I didn't know this one too. I didn't even know that this one was. I hadn't seen this one here. There we go. That's like in the history video, whatever. 
So yeah, it all lights up though. So any of that stuff that lights up the sparkles like that is is killer and really desirable as far as card people. And see how many of those I, I have in this set? There's a lot of those sparkly cards in this uh, whole set when you get the set. There's one with the world. It says heal the world. And then see, plus there's all the other cards too. All the other, they're awesome too. I'm just showing you like the sparkly ones, shit, right? But the cards, you can see, as you can see the cards are in here I'm showing you, but I'm not like highlighting them and stuff, right? There's another heal the world one. But it all lights up. See, and that shit even says Michael Jackson at the top. See, that's what makes these cards even nice. They have that, that gold, the gold lettering. Makes it they're a little bit nicer cards and stuff. And see, this is what I was saying about like the writing on the bottom. If you see there, I think this is French. I think it's in French. But so like that writing there, that like I said, you can't get these in English. It's either going to be in uh, Spanish or in French because this is that's where they were at and stuff. So like, let me see, is that on this page? No, it's on the next page. You can see the Moon Man card there. I'll show you. It's right above this picture. So there's this other sparkly one there. Like I was saying, the, the sparkly ones, these are the cards. There's a bunch of them in this set. So I got, and so this is another one of the just regular cards that is really cool. Just the Michael and the Moon Man costume. Like, <laughs> that's just a, but so all the pictures are cool, right? The, the whole set, it's a killer set, but the sparkly cards are collect, really collectible. Like this one, this one looks really nice too. The corners are sharp. It looks like it's in really good condition. Look how nice that is. Those are killer cards. Yeah, so all these cards. So these are, they're all really nice. And so that's what's cool, like, with these cards. Like I said, this is the history cards. So all of these cards, even though these cards are from different eras, you know, you have, you'll have bad and stuff. And you'll have thriller era and, like, off the wall. Even though you have the different eras in here, even though it's history, this, this is real. This is like, and it's not like a reprint. It, it's got like a real feel to it that this is genuine. It doesn't have like all those other feelings of like a reprint or or like something printed uh, after they died and stuff. Or like there's just all, all kinds of other things that they do and stuff that I don't like. But this one, since it's the history tour stuff, it's really cool. Look at that one on the toes and shit, right? How cool is that? All sparkled up. <laughs> yeah so this this all the cards are killer they're just really killer cards all the cards are really nice but then all the sparkly see how many sparkly ones there are in here a lot there's a lot of them in the set there's a smooth criminal one sick smooth criminal and then that one here So as I was saying, when I got this, when I ordered it, it only had, it had these two pictures here, and then it had the other pictures with, like, the Dangerous album, and then I think the Bad was on there. So it had those four pictures of the sparklies, and then, like, I sent the guy a message, but he didn't say anything back. I don't know, it's one of these things about those people, I don't know if they speak, if they could read my message, because it's in a different language. It's one of those things when you're getting stuff from out of the country and stuff, but... Usually it comes and it's usually okay. Usually things will, it'll usually will be okay and stuff, you know? Usually things work out. And then so, like this, with shipping and everything, this was under 100 bucks. So, usually I'm willing to take a chance. Because it said it had most of it, you know. It said most of it was there. And then I knew it had some of the sparkle cards. And then, so it's one of those things that's like, okay, well, I don't think the person knows exactly, like, <coughs> which cards are the most valuable. It seemed kind of like the person didn't really know exactly what they had, just that it was Michael Jackson and it was, has some value. Sick. But most of the sparkles were in here. That's what I was, so I, I didn't think, I thought, I thought I might get this and all the sparkle cards might be gone, you know? That's what I was thinking when I, when I got it. But most of them were here. There are a bunch of them in here. Good picture. 
Yeah, so these sparkly cards, when you put these cards and you put them in the slab like this, right? That make the card much more valuable. And now it's a now it's an actual collectible item and shit, right? Here's another sparkly one. But yeah, these cards, especially if you can get them in good condition, which they'll be in decent condition. Other card, like I like this here too, like the one in black and white, that picture. I like this picture up here with Michael with the sunset behind him. Just a nice picture. See, it's just, all the cards are, are really cool actually in this set. It's a, it's a really cool set of cards. Okay, so that's it. Yeah, the history tour. So yeah. Okay, so I picked that up. I just wanted to show that to you and stuff because it was really cool. And then just like mention it to like a person like Flipping Steve and stuff because it's hard to explain stuff when in a comment, you know. It's a lot easier <coughs> to show it so in case he sees this video. So like you've seen all the sparkly ones, the white sparkles they had there, Flipping Steve. Like I think there's probably like 15 maybe or something. But I think there's close to tw maybe 20 in the total thing. <coughs> there's like maybe 15 to 20 of those sparkle cards. So... Um, you can get the set. I know there is a guy right now where it has the has a complete set for sale, and it's got to make an offer on it. He's off asking like two hundred, but the shipping's like thirty bucks something. But so it's like two thirty to two fifty. You can make an offer, maybe you can get fifty off. I think I made an offer on him before, and he turned me down. I think I went low, and he turned me down. So I don't know. But anyways, but there is that one. But see, if you get those white sparkle cards, send them in for grading. You know, you'd be into it for less than like. 40 bucks a card for sure for like what you paid for the whole set plus the grading feeds just what you would be if you looked at the total investment if you looked at it just at the price for the white sparkle cards i'm sure you'd be into it less for less than 40 bucks a card and you know those cards are each those are cards are each worth 100 bucks easily why would you you would you why would you sell one of those for especially if the market gets hot there's not going to be anybody without this is the thing about like what I've been trying to tell the card market people and stuff. But the one guy flipping Steve is he's the only one smart enough to maybe think about he might do to listen to this shit is that if my Michael Jackson story breaks and the card market starts to get hot. Right. If something happens with the Michael Jackson card market, then the, people don't have these cards. And if you're the person out there that's got these cards available, you can then ask, like I said, each one of those white sparkle cards. Right now, it's easily worth a hundred bucks and stuff. Not an auction. I can't guarantee what you're going to get an auction. But if you put it buy it now, somebody's going to come across there and want those. And they're, you, I think you'd sell them at a hundred bucks. Um, but it, once the cards get hot, shoot, nobody's got those. You come on the market with those white sparkle Michael Jackson cards graded, man, five hundred bucks each and stuff. And maybe even more for like that Thriller one and with a good grade on it. You're like, this highest grade, pop one. You start putting that pop one because there is a good deal about there and stuff, right? Pop one. That's the good thing with the PSA. You get the good pop report and stuff, right? you know? Pop one. That's if, if And this one, this is a legit set. I don't know why PSA wouldn't grade these cards. I mean, this this, this is set is legit as can be and stuff, right? So, you know, but yeah. So, but yeah, I think these cards, are, I think it's a good investment right now. Like I said, even if you look right now, you can only find one person that has the complete set. There's a couple other little sets like this one that's not the complete stuff there's set there's only one other one that's the complete set and like i said i just it's a it's a couple hundred bucks stuff i don't plan on buying it anytime soon and stuff so it's one of those things like flip it steve it's like flip it steve get that set take those white sparkle cards send them in to be graded and uh you'd be sitting on all those white sparkle michael jackson cards and stuff right and that's the early white sparkle stuff and this is panini stuff you know that that's the good stuff so yeah just wanted to show you guys this set that's out there and, and this other talk that you talk about like investment stuff because a lot of people when they buy cards they do it for investment purposes too so like i don't i don't send the stuff in for grading i don't do a lot of that stuff i'm just kind of buying it because i know it's good stuff and i know i'm missing out on opportunities to make money and to flip it at the right times and stuff like that but I, I want I want I just want the cards. I know the stuff is cool and stuff. So just having it, and if I can get a good deal on it, then I'm happy with that stuff, right? But to other people, like what I try to tell, like try and tell the card people, the card people, because if they start doing it, start making money off it, then they start talking about it, and then they start talking about my story, and that's why another outlet I was going to use to try and break my story through the card community and stuff, right? But the people are just hard. It's hard to get them. They'll talk about anything. This is the kind of weird thing. It's like in the Michael Jackson community too. They, they'll talk about anything, but they won't talk about my story. 
They won't even talk about it. They won't talk about it. And the same thing with like the sports car community. They'll talk about anything out there. The, every story, it's things that are going on. But they won't talk about my story and talk about how you could buy these cards at a cheap price. Like how I'm showing you. you can, I'm showing you. I'll tell you what. This is what I paid for it. Like this set <coughs> with shipping. <coughs> it was 100 bucks with shipping and everything. It was like $100 and shit, right? So that's not bad. Like, you know, you've seen what I got there. So for 100 bucks, I was happy with that. But I didn't know what I was getting on that. That was a gamble. But if I did lose, I was like, well, I only lost 100 bucks. It's not going to be too bad and shit, right? That's the other thing, too, is when you're gambling... Gambling, gamble low amounts of money. Gamble, don't you don't want to be gambling with high amounts. So when you do lose, you don't want to take those big losses, right? So when you know there is an element of gamble there, like this, I didn't know if all the pictures and the guy wasn't communicating, but it looked like it was worth it for me to take a shot at this thing. And now I got it. I'm super happy to pick this up for a hundred bucks. You know, like I said, with shipping hundred bucks, that's a you can't find that stuff. And like I said, there's none of this stuff out there. And the only stuff of it, what is out there is over in, in Europe and stuff, right? Nothing in America. This, they don't have any of these sets. So this is a really good set, right, to invest in. Plus all of the cards. I think every single one of these cards, you could grade every card in the set. And I think it's got value as a graded card. I think every card in the set's cool. It's it's a really fucking cool set and shit. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that, show you those couple other cards I got. I have some other stuff, but I didn't want to pull everything out. I was just trying to make a video as quick as I can, you know? Okay, so, all right. Made that, like I said, I won't be making much videos about my story. I just don't have the time to do it and stuff, right? And once I, it's one of those things with the story. Once I start looking into it and stuff, I, it's a, it's a total rabbit hole story. You look at this and it links up to this. And then one, you got to link it up to this. Chases you over to here. And that's what I'm saying. By the time I start making the video, and then you have to start making the video, but I'm, it's like I'm not even, I haven't built it up all the way. I've just got all this other stuff. And then so like, so then what happens a lot of times I won't do the video. I just want to keep doing the investigation. Then after I do the investigation, I've got too much stuff, and it's like, well, how do I put all that stuff back into a video? It makes it difficult. There's just so many problems and stuff right now, but I just have the time. I don't have the time to be making videos right now, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. I just like, ugh. It's, it's frustrating and stuff. But like I said, you know, like the people in Michael Jackson community, they talk about everything, but they won't even talk about the story. It's like, fine. If my story's wrong, then play my video and show where he says, be like this. Okay, look it. He says that this is evidence, and then show me why it's not. But they don't ever do that. And anytime they've attempted to do that, it's like, okay, but I get to respond to you then and show you, okay, but look it. I've looked at this a different way. You guys just have not seen it the right way. So then I explained it to them. And then they can't ever do anything after that because my explanation is the truth and stuff. So my story is better. <laughs> if for some reason they don't want the truth to come out they don't want Michael Jackson's real story being known and stuff right I don't know people are weird and shit right so okay I'll talk to you guys later alright have a good one bye